All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates of all ages, it is I. And we are going to try something new today. I've been testing this out at the flea market. And we are going to do our first unboxing with this now and see if we can come up with a cool video or if it changes the strategy or anything you guys know. Let me know in the comments. In the comments. Let's do this. Let's see if we can find our knife. Now, the hard part, I think, is going to be stabilization. What I'm noticing right now, or I've been noticing, I should say, about using this is stabilization. See, bumpy, jumpy. But for like certain things, it seems really neat. See, I can go like this, I can go like this. Set my knife here. And I'm just working with my hands. This is a nice one of those. Okay, that is kind of cool actually. Interesting. Oh, I wonder if it's a... Woo! Maybe the, the kids will like that. Okay. See? Let's keep it steady, Mike. Keep it steady. Good packing. Ooh. What do we got here? A cool one of those. What do we got down here? These are neat. Are they bike lights? Uh oh. They're dead. Okay. And then we got, ooh, newer ones. I think we'll take these home because these are always handy. Michael and Michaela. They go through those like nobody's business. See, I, I, I'm. Ooh, dose pen. They're dosing. Right. Okay. Ooh, what do we got down here? We got keys. We got Dre beats. No beats. They've been beaten. Abyss. Hmm. Wonder what that was too. That's like a sound like a safe. We'll set that aside. Come on. Abbas Cadabras. I want to reach out and grab her as a safe. Abbas Cadabras. Okay, we got notebooks. Those are boring. Oh, we got two Android chargers. Always safe Android chargers. I have a whole electronics closet. I save everything. Ooh, Murano. Look at these little lovebirds. I don't know if they're really lovebirds. Comment below if they're not lovebirds. But look at those guys right there. Oh, mm, I like these. We'll save these and see if we want to keep those. We'll have to ask the boss. This looks like one of those. Look at how they pack this stuff, guys. You guys think that being a storage buyer is easy. Look at this. What are we going for here? We go with all this type of stuff right here. Just to come to a box of pencils. Look at that. A box of pencils. Ooh, what does that say, though? Arteriors. Arterior motives. Ha <laughs> ha. No pun intended. I like that, though. Set that aside. The thing that's been neat is I'm getting a... Oh, what is that? Look at this bad boy. Look at that. Is this Arthur Moyes? That's what I'm guessing. The one, the I have, Oith Le, 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 Lether Moyes was one of the groups I bought his stuff. That is holy smack! I can't. I'm guys. I can barely lift this up. Um, I don't know. That looks like a really nice lamp, though. Jeez. Okay. Do we have anything else down here? No. This is a silver set. No. What is this? Look at this motif. Wow. All right. Time keeps on ticking, ticking, ticking into the future. And then we have oh, invitations. That's kind of... Oh, dude. I don't own one of these pans, and I can put two burners there, and I could do like... Ooh, I got some ideas. 
wonder if she like that. We'll have to ask. Hmm. <laughs> Cleaning out a little bit more. And look what I found. Money in a storage unit. I found money in an abandoned storage unit. So, let's see what we have in a kitchen box. Looks like. Ooh, look at that. Moiter and pestle, is that going to be? What do they call that? I don't know. It's neat. Okay. No. Put that back in here at the end. A cup. Ooh. Some white cups. Corel. This soon feels like a lid to a marble piece. Oh, look at that. This is... I always like to tell what kind of pot somebody has. I'm always looking for cut though. That doesn't look. It's gonna be all kitchen rock, and so we'll just set this aside. I'm not. Look at that cup. Is it a vase? Wow. Fancy man. Oh, I'm fancy man. Carrying on. Corel is Walmart. I know that because that's what I shop with. You know, where I shop and what I use. I have like the very similar cups, but mine are like little blue stripe. You know? Okay. Let's see what his bowls look like. Are they Corel as well? No. Nope. Plain white bowls. Those are plates, cups. I'm looking for. Ooh, I think the boss wanted something like this. We're gonna have to let her look. I hate looking through dish boxes. It's all plates. All right, let's see how this works on a wardrobe. Okay. What kind of jeans we got here? These look like bell bottoms. Nisi. Those look cute though, look at that. Hmm. Kinda cute, size seven. I don't know. I believe we got uh, Citizens of Humanity. Don't know what that is. We got those. Okay, that's not expensive. Got that. Let's see here. Oh dang, someone was out uh, having some fun in a mini skirt. We got Paris Blues. Those are, I don't think are anything pricey. Okay, no Joes. All right, I'm thinking that the clothes are not super pricey, but they're, they're cute and trendy. What is this? Let's see here. Um, no, ladies, is that cute? I don't think so. I could be wrong. Every time I try to say stuff like that, then I end up wrong. I'm continuing on. All right, what are these? Polo jeans. All right, I guess those are bell bottomy. I don't think bell bottomy is hot right now. Okay. No, digging for dollars. That's what we're doing here. Believe it or not, I know a lot of people are like, my private clothes are boring. But I got found a $600 belt and somebody was like, this is boring. Like, what? Money's money. We're here to make money in the end. That's like kind of like the goal here. And it's nice to find stuff that's expensive. And now when I look at clothes, it kind of gives me an idea of how people spent money. Believe it or not. That's what I kind of profile is just that. Bongo. Bongo's kind of popular. TB, I don't know about that. Okay. Batteries. Who wants to stick their tongue on that? Raise your hand right now if you're willing to stick your tongue on there and test one of these. Come on. Do it. I'm not scared. Mm, they're dead. Oh. 
very small shock. Ah. Post it now. It's all right. Deck of cards. Who doesn't like cards? This is looking like all types of nothing. More batteries that I'm not going to put up to my thumbtacks. We needed those, but I think we want just like plain flat wall ones. Oh, look at this. Amazing recording tapes. Okay. Now this right here, believe it or not, these can range from like eight, ten bucks for this to like a hundred or so, depending on which cassettes they are, rare seal, but people actually like this, so don't underestimate those little things when you're rooting your boxes and you're trying to yield your money. I don't know what that is. Okay. What do we got here? Ooh. I don't know what any of this is. Can somebody tell me what that says? Copyright 1985. All right. Now we're going to do something, actually. We're going to turn this to 4K and see if the movement is better. All right, let's see if it moves better now. You guys have been able to tell me because you just watched all that. The lighting's different because I moved, but it looks like this is all... What is this? Reading to... Learning to read things? Different languages, maybe? Sort of reminds me of something like that. Maybe it's, um, like, infomercials in another language, like, how to buy real estate in Japan. Active communication, video to English program. That's interesting. That could be valuable right there. We'll have to look that up. Because, um, some of these programs like this can have actually some good value. I've sold a few of them for over 100 bucks. This is in VCR tape format, so maybe not. What is this, a rug? A blanket? An acrylic carpet. That's kind of nice, actually. Let's look that out in the light. That is actually a pretty neat carpet. Acrylic carpets. Mm, imported by Kasami. I don't know. That's nice, though. I actually like that. My knife. Ha ha. Able to cut a single piece of tape in one strike. My knife. Sorry, I get lit up. Really bored, guys. Okay. And there's a whole bunch of these. Because, you know, you can never have too many of these. I think this is the garbage can. I told you guys I thought I might have jewelry in the bottom. I opened it up and I saw bathroom stuff. Shout out to the future box of stuff going to Mary Harris. She sells on eBay for me. That is a nice little bathroom rug, actually. Some, I, I, like, I'm not afraid to use a bathroom rug that's been super clean like this. You can see that You can see that it's good shape. I would actually use something like this if I needed a white one. I have a black one in my bathroom now. We got the toilet one, too. Joy. That is probably gross, actually. You see all these type of things in here. An iron, sunbeam. Curling iron. Con air. This is a, uh, actually a good one. Yeah. So this. All right. Then we have... A Revlon 191875 Iconic. Oh, we're getting down there to see something in there. Come on. Be a jewelry box. No. This is probably expensive, though. Hold on. Let's use two hands for this because this one looks expensive. I don't want to mess it up. Some of these could be like two, three hundred dollars a blow dryer, which turns it into like a fifty to a hundred dollar eBay sale. So that could be exciting too. Yellow Bird Con Air. I think Uncle Michael would like this one, guys. I think that's what we're gonna do is save this for Uncle Michael, actually. Okay. Dryer sheets. It's kind of a neat set, actually. Uh, it's Ikea. New York Times, 36 hours, K 
Okay, I'm starting setting this stuff aside and I have to look up my books because I'm getting too many people telling me my books are not getting me any money. Extra, yeah. Ooh, the scandalous world of olive oil. That sounds like a book I want to read. Trader Joe's. That's a nice little canvas sack. Rustic Italian food. Ooh, okay, we're gonna look these all up. Classic Edamonrano. No De Niro, what is this? Come on. Ooh, vinegar. Ooh, I like this box. I don't, I think I remember looking in this or opening it up. In fact, my reason for buying it, cause I just like the way this looks. I'm thinking to myself, I don't know, this is watch box stuff or something. That could be cool. A little decoration. I don't know. This box is nice. But what? I don't know. I just like... This is what... So I profiled this. It is. Look. Swiss this swing design. Okay, never mind. Not Swiss design. Oh, wow. Look at these. Look at these, ladies and gentlemen. What? These are kind of cool little sea urchin things. Look at that. We got sea urchins. And we got CB2 with 13 cents. And we got more books. What's on your top 10 list? Uh, life, love, success, freedom, peace. How many days a week can be extraordinary? Seven. Where will you be in five years from today? Further than I am today. All right. They liked... Uh, Quality cigarettes. Ooh. Put that back on there. We'll show you that in a minute. Oh, yes. Come on. It's another one. And we got some books. La Vida, La Bella. A Day in the Life of Marlon Bundo. The New York Times, 36 hours, 125 weeks. Okay. All right. Look at these. These are just adorable little creatures. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. Look at this one. These real birds? That's an ostrich, so yeah. Look at this guy. Looks like a real-life roadrunner, right? I think that's what that is. And then we got one of these. These are neat. Mm, three, two, one. Oh, this one doesn't open up. Oh. Well. All right. Look at this one here. On three, two, one. We already saw it in there. The Jedi Path. I'm going to definitely try to look into this book right here because this right here just intrigues me. Jedi Path. Let me know what you think of this unboxing with this style of camera. I'm just going to probably pop this up just to get a little tester of what you guys think.